It's now time to complete Lesson 2, Chapter 4, Using Cut, Copy, and Paste. Please click Learn. And click Continue. We're going to begin by opening a document. So please go to File, Open, Browse, find your Jasper Active folder and your um, resource files folder and open up fall newsletter part of step number one also says we're going to save it as a new name in a new location so please click file save as and browse now it's really important in this lesson that we don't use the top menu here to get to um, my projects folder we have to go to documents and then search again for Jasper Active. This way it records that we're finding the right folder. So then click on My Projects and save the file name as My Fall Newsletter. Click Save. And on the Home tab, we're going to click in the Clipboard group. That's the grip group, group of tools on the left here. And you're going to click on the dialog box launcher. And that's a long name for this tiny little arrow that pops out um, additional tools. So in this case, when we click on the dialog box launcher, it opens the clipboard pane. Click Mark as answered and Next. We're going to open up another document. So we're going to go to File, Open, click on Browse. And instead of um, My Fall Newsletter, we're going to go back to Resource Files and, finding, and find Heli Ski Tours Review. And then I'm going to go to File Open again and open up Experiencing Antarctica. For step number two, we want to make sure that you're on Experiencing Antarctica document. So look in the top section of your screen for the title of this Word file. I happen to have mine open on Experiencing Antarctica. If yours does not say that title at the top, click on your Word icon on your task pane, and you can see the titles of all three Word files. Make sure you're on Experiencing Antarctica. We're going to select the heading, which is Experiencing Antarctica, and the first paragraph all the way to the last sentence there that says to experience the natural splendor of Antarctica and on the home tab we're gonna click cut which is the scissors icon you'll notice the text is no longer on the document but it does appear here in the clipboard pane on the left we're gonna switch now step number four asks us to switch to the my fall newsletter so I'm going to click on the word icon in the taskbar and go to My Fall Newsletter. And we're going to put the mouse cursor in the blank line underneath what's happening. And now on the Home tab in the clipboard group, we're going to click Paste, which is this clipboard here. The text should now appear in this location as well as in the clipboard. And I'm just going to glance and make sure my document looks like the image on the instruction panel. And it does. Click Mark as answered and click Next. Now we're going to switch to the third document, Heli Ski Tours Review, and select the heading starting at Heli Ski Tours to the end of the second paragraph of text ending in the environmental impact of our tours. Please pay careful attention that you're selecting um, all of the text that the instructions are asking you to. This time on the Home tab in the Clipboard group, we're going to click Copy, which is the icon with the two papers. And our Clipboard group um, pane is already showing. Now we're going to switch to the newsletter document. So I come down to my Word icon and go to my fall newsletter and we're going to paste this in the section titled updates so I'm going to go to updates here 
and I'm going to go to the clipboard and click the latest entry at the top of the list. And that's right here. Heli Skiing Tours. Now that text is in our document. And it's asking us to save the My Fall Newsletter document. So I'm going to go to File, Save. Mark as answered and click Next. We're going to switch back to Experiencing the Antarctica document and we're going to close it without making any save, uh, without making, we're going to close it without saving any changes. Click Yes and we're switched to Heli Ski Tours and we're going to close it without saving. That way those documents stay in their original condition. Mark has answered and click Next. Last, we are going to press the Clear All button on the clipboard to remove the items. So click Clear All. Now it's empty. And we're going to click the Close button to close the clipboard pane. That's this X here next to the clipboard. There we go. Mark as answered. And click Show Results. Click X to continue. Back to the Jasper Active main page, you have now completed chapter, Lesson 2, Chapter 4.